Some builds work really great when you combo them with other builds. Not only do the passives of the item help with the hero's ability, but it also helps you to get stronger by using multiple advantages by some loopholes. And we will discuss how you will be able to get the advantages of those builds in this video. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will discuss about the Trinity build and how it will help you to get stronger in the game just by knowing how these builds work. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating and similarly this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. The concept of Trinity build is getting 3 builds that work really great when you combo them with the similar builds. To explain further, let's take a look at the first combo. I will start with the most popular combo of Corrosion Scythe, Demon Hunter Sword and Golden Staff. This build is suitable for heroes that needs a lot of attack speed and those who can deal double damage when using their basic attacks. Let me explain. I want to talk about Mia. Mia's passive allows her to activate her shadow when continuously dealing damage using basic attacks and also gives her attack speed increasing per hit. Meaning the faster her basic attacks are, the faster you get her passive activated. Now how this Mia is very simple. As you get multiple attacks from her passive, you also manage to activate the DHS passive in double the amount of time. Now the item Golden Staff acts as a icing on the cake and helps you get twice the damage every third attack. Meaning you get to activate the DHS passive twice the number of times every third attack. Golden Staff limits your critical strike on the enemies. So many of you would say that is a disadvantage. But the fact you get the crits compensated in attack speed is one of the best features of this particular item. And the Corazon Scythe item is added to increase the attack speed further and slow the enemy a little bit. The order of building these items depend on the hero you are using. But for Mia, I would highly advise you to build it as I mentioned. The Trinity builds also works for one month. And the Corazon Scythe item act as her priority item. That is because one one passive greatly benefits from the attack speed items. The more attack speed you build, the more you will be able to dash. But attack speed does not help much in gating the damage, so you need to gate other attack speed items like the DHS and Golden Staff to gate enhanced attack speed plus the passive damage to increase your attack output. And similar to Mia, you will see that clothes also enjoy the same effect because of Dexter. But there is an interesting case of Moscow, his passive crits, so mostly many of you guys will crit for him. But there is a hack to it. If you build golden staff on him, the crits from his passive do not get removed and you get to trigger the crit effects when you deal damage to the enemies lying behind the target. This is not new, but if you were unaware of these mechanics, then now you know it. The Golden Staff effect also helps you to get cooldown low from his skill passive effects, making him use the first and second skill very frequently. This is very helpful for Moscow especially, as he can get his first skill to get the attack speed and second skill for this turn, and also DHS in the builds help you to deal damage against the high HP targets as well.
If you are looking for a hundred percent safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than hundred K M L B B players from India, Philippines, and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. Not only on MMs, but you can also even use this Trinity build on basic attacks-oriented fighters. For example, you can take Argus. And the best benefit will be that when you use the Corrosion Scythe item on fighters. you will be able to increase the slow effects which also help you to catch up to the target and you also get the benefit of dhs and golden staff with it this is also the reason you might find sun being very useful to take down the objectives like the lord and the turtle and the dhs and corrosion scythe is one of his core items we have one other type of trinity build Well not many call this trinity build but since it goes with three item combo i have decided to add these two and in this build we have the berserker fury scarlet phantom and wind choker this build is a little bit different from the previous builds but you can use it on the previous heroes like mia mosco melissa argus etc let me explain the difference The Berserker Fury's sole purpose is to give crit damage to the user using it. You can think of this item as a burst damage item that offers you enormous damage when you trigger the crit attacks. After that, we have the Scarlet Phantom that helps you to trigger more crit effects and lets you get the attack speed with it. Then the wind choker helps you to get that attack speed combined with the movement speed. Heroes like Argus benefit a lot when you use this type of build as the enemies become a one shot squishy target. But I would say the tanks would be a little bit hard to kill using this build. And before ending this video, here's a shout out from our previous video. Sniper plays Leon Froy, Minthwa Sit, Rekong Amel and Johan. I hope you learned a bit from this video. If you have anything regarding the video, then feel free to write it down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki official.